he does not have a Wikipedia page to his name. His media appearance is minuscule as compared to the thorough coverage his inventions have had. The Wikipedia page for Vande Bharat identifies him merely as the former general manager of the Integral Coach Factory or ICF, which he is. But Sudhanshu Mani is in fact the main brain behind the semi-high-speed trains that the central government has increasingly cited as the crowning achievements of its railway policies. Mani belongs to the 1979 batch of Indian Railways Services of Mechanical Engineers and retired from active service in railways on 31st December 2018, only a couple of months after the Vande Bharat train was rolled out. He has over 36 years of experience in Indian railways and has worked in areas like workshop management, railway operations, project management, planning and R&D. Mani describes himself as a railway man for life. So I'm uh, what you would call a railway man for life. So I joined railways in 1976 as a special class railway apprentice. 76 to 2016 till I got, got posted as a general manager of Integral Coach Factory. I was a railwayman uh, and had worked in all aspects of railway working, operations, maintenance, design, manufacturing. And uh, I requested for a posting in Integral Coach Factory because uh, I thought before I retire, if it was possible to use the expertise and the skill of the ICS staff, to give the country a semi-high speed, modern, aesthetically superior train. Vande Bharat wasn't Mani's first major project. He had been associated with the design and upgradation of several diesel locomotives between 1990s and early 2010s. During this time, diesel locomotives were primarily used for freight transportation in India. I was uh, associated mainly with the design of diesel locomotives. From uh, since uh, early 90s till I would say about early 2010s, uh, several designs of locomotive, uh, diesel locomotives were turned out. And uh, I was involved in each and every one of them. This was in upgradation of power from 2400 horsepower to up to 4500 horsepower. And the Biggest project was a 5,500 horsepower locomotive, a collaborative project with General Motors, EMD, RDSO and DLW. The former GM of ICF was also at the forefront of convincing the central government that a semi-high-speed train was indeed possible. The challenge was, uh, first of all, to get a sanction from the ministry to do such a train because it would hurt the import lobby. Ultimately, the chairman railway board gave us a sanction. Oh, only two trains after I told them that you could go ahead and import whatever you want, but we will build a train at one third to 40% of the cost of import. The other challenge was such a project usually takes uh, 36 to 42 months from concept to design, engineering, manufacture, validation. In the final analysis, it was got done in 18 months and it uh, kind of relived its name. Lalit Chandra Trivedi, the former general manager of Indian Railways of East Central Railway Zone, also points out that the Vande Bharat's full capabilities are yet to be fully realized. Even today, the full potential of the Vande Bharat Express we have not been able to exploit because of our infrastructure issues. Like uh, uh, Vande Bharat is capable of running at 160 kmph, but most of our track is uh, uh, capable of 110 kmph. I was in ICF when we were uh, making this, so that time the a normal coach uh, train will cost about 12 crores per coach, and uh, here we could make in ICF one coach for six crores. So the to produce a world class coach at half the cost is another USP uh, of this uh, train. And this train has brought Indian railways, our country at par with the in technology uh, level, at par with European countries, Japanese, uh, Japan, and other uh, high-speed countries. Uh, we could have done more, 
uh, but for the basic infrastructure. Despite the hiccups, Vande Bharat is indeed a major milestone in the history of the Indian Railways. As Mani points out, the train service is a catalyst for further changes in the Indian Railway infrastructure. And it is now for the future generations of engineers and innovators to unleash the semi-high-speed trains full potential onto the Indian tracks. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.